Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. And the great thing is, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So if you're not already a member, please join. You'll have access to the Z-Code VIP Club section, as you see right here. And on this, you will see there are many great tools to help you make your, bid more, uh, make your bets more successfully. So we're going to touch on the NHL for the games on Friday, March the 6th. The NHL is heading into the home stretch, and there are several teams uh, vying for playoff positioning and seeding, so it's a very important time of the year. We've got uh, several games on tap, so let's get started here. We're going to scroll down through and take a look at some of these matchups. St. Louis Blues at the New Jersey Devils. Among the hottest teams in the NHL, the Blues take their first place record to, uh, in the Central Division to New Jersey to face the last place team in the Metropolitan Division. If you look here, St. Louis is burning hot at the moment. They have won their last six games. New Jersey Devils are average up. They have lost their last game and they are three and three over their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, see St. Louis is a steady plus 30 uh, ever since the 23rd of February. And New Jersey dropped as low as plus two and now they're back up to plus six. Look at the head to head matchups. You will see in the last meeting, the Blues won by a 3 0 score at home. If you're considering the over and under in this one, St. Louis is playing in games trending under the line. And you can see New Jersey is playing in games trending well under the line. So this is a good time to bet the under. This should likely be a very low scoring game. How stable are the two teams? Not extremely stable. You see, St. Louis is at plus nine, relatively stable. Uh, New Jersey plus five, and what the stability means is how well they are performing according to their favorite and underdog status. So what do I see overall for this game? I think that uh, St. Louis probably should win this one by a few goals in another low-scoring game. Take a look at the next one. The Chicago Blackhawks and the Detroit Red Wings. Boy, these two rivals here were once among the best teams in the NHL. Always um, powerhouses, but boy, times have changed lately. Uh, Chicago is last in the Central Division, Detroit is last in the Atlantic Division, and they actually have been eliminated from playoff contention. Blackhawks have been playing better lately, though. As you see, they've won their last three and four out of their last six. Detroit here, dead status, losing their last six, really going nowhere fast. You look at the power ranking indicator, not a surprise, Detroit here is at zero, and they've been at the bottom for most of the season. And Chicago has moved from plus three back on uh, February 27th, and in just a week they're up to plus 14, indicating their better play of late. If you're considering the over and under, you'll see that Chicago is playing in games trending under the line. Detroit is playing in games trending slightly over the line. But since they're on opposite sides of the line, I generally uh, say to avoid the over and under in this one. You look at the head to head matchups. You can see back on January the 5th, Chicago won by a 4 2 score at home. How stable are the two teams? You see, Detroit is very stable at plus 31. It just means that they're performing very consistently according to their favorite underdog status, and Chicago is at plus 6. Although Detroit is at home, they're the worst team in the league. Chicago is hot. Detroit will be the underdogs, and that is more reason to pick Chicago in this one. Vegas at Winnipeg. Now, this is a, the featured game of the day. Vegas comes in with the top record in the Pacific Division. They head to Winnipeg to face the Jets, who are fourth in the Central Division. Vegas right now is burning hot. You can see they have won five out of their last six. Winnipeg is ice cold up. They have won two out of their last three, but are, are losers of four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Vegas is at plus 23. Winnipeg has dropped from plus 18 down to plus 9 over the course of just the last few days. What have they done head to head wise? Well, you can see back on November 2nd, near the beginning of the season, Winnipeg was a 4 3 winner in overtime on the road. Times have changed since then. You can, has, Vegas has a much better team at the moment. How stable are the two teams? Vegas is at plus 11 and have been increasing as in their stability 
and Winnipeg is, has been increasing as well. You can see that they have moved up to plus five. Considering the over and under in this one, Vegas is playing in games trending slightly over the line, as you can see here, the red line compared to the blue line. And you can see Winnipeg is trending in games under the line, so probably best to avoid the over and under in this matchup. But overall, I think it's payback time for Vegas. There's, I don't think there's much of a chance for Winnipeg to win this one, even at home. Vegas is a much better team, and they will win this one. Take a look at another game here. We've got the Colorado Avalanche and the Vancouver Canucks. The Avalanche head to Vancouver with the second best record in the Central Division. Vancouver, though, still has much to play for as well, as they are fourth in the Pacific Division. However, they are not playing well lately. You can see they are ice cold down. Losers of their last three and four out of their last six. On the other hand, Colorado is extremely hot at the moment. Winners of their last six meetings against uh, NHL competition. As far as the head-to-head -head matchup goes, you can see that back on November 16th of last year, Colorado was a 5-4 winner in overtime on the road. If you take a look at the totals predictor, you can see that Colorado is playing in games trending well under the line, I mean, really far under the line. And on the other hand, though, Vancouver is playing in games really over the line. So what do you do? Do you go by one or the other? As far as betting the over or under, I would probably tend to avoid the over and under because of the big difference between the two. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Vancouver is on a downward trend. They were plus 21 back on the 27th of last month, and they are all the way down to plus 10. And Colorado has been on an, on an increase, a slight increase now, over the last couple of days, to plus 29. So what does this mean overall as far as who I think will win the game? I think that Colorado takes this one on the road, but in a lower scoring game than, than the first matchup, look more of like a 3-2 to two game or a 3-1 to one score in this one. The last game we're going to look at is the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Anaheim Ducks. Toronto is burning hot at the moment, even though they lost their last game, but they won, have won four out of their last six. Anaheim is ice cold down, losers of their last two, and losers of four out of their last six. The power ranking indicator will show this as well, that Toronto is up here at plus 24. Anaheim is down near the bottom at just plus one. This looks like a big mismatch in this one. We're going to look at the totals predictor. You want to consider the over and under. Look at this. Toronto is playing in games trending well over the line. Red line compared to the blue line. And you can see Anaheim is also playing in games trending slightly over the line. So this is a very good opportunity to bet the over. I think it's going to be a very safe and profitable bet. You take a look at the volatility oscillator. Both teams are relatively stable. Plus 9 compared to plus 7. Head to head. On February the 7th, you see that Toronto won the game at home by a 5-4 score in overtime. So what does this mean as far as how we think the game is going to go? Well, if you take a look at this, I think that much of the, like, much of the same is likely to occur. Toronto is clearly the better team. They should win this one. They'll go with another road team to win. And in fact, if you take a look at our, our picks this week, we're going with the road team every single time. That is probably the first time I have done so. But I think that's how it's going to play out this time. So we want to take a look at also here now. Scroll up to the back up to the top of this page. Under hot trends, you can go look at the top automated systems, which is what we would do now. So we take a look at the top automated performing systems. And you can see here in general, you see what the top systems are. If you want NHL, just select the support and go to NHL. You can see which is the top performing one at the moment. By top profit, you see the top profit is uh, Peach System NHL trend right here, and you can see the profit here, twenty thousand forty dollars. And there's a whole bunch of other things you can look at. You can look at the the graph showing the trend. You can look at this kind of thing, which is a return on investment for people that are really into the, all the different types of numbers. You can look at the average square deviation and trust factor percent. And if you go on here, it'll explain all these things for you as well. So there you have it. These are the picks for the week, and I hope you enjoy the games this weekend, and we will see you next time for more excellent picks and more betting for you to win every single time. Have a good weekend.